Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's me Calvin again and as you can see we have a beautiful summer's day here in Kempton and uh, it's actually the perfect opportunity for me to finally show you my uh, new RS5 um, standing behind me here and uh, yeah just really the first time I had an opportunity now in between all the race weekends to give you guys uh, a little bit of an update of what I've been up to the last two weeks with my new baby. So here we are inside of the brand new Audi RS5 um, Launch just the end of last year now finally available for, for purchase and uh, yeah, I couldn't wait to order mine uh, The brand new V6 engine producing 450 horsepower or PS for the German viewers um, but the actual Amazing part about it is the torque from the new turbocharger 600 newton meters of torque and you can really feel the big difference now on the new versus the old RS5 uh, when you accelerate hard out of the corners. One thing that Audi really has worked on with a new car is this new drive select. They've really focused on making the comfort mode exactly that, that you can actually feel the difference between the comfort and the dynamic. And they basically want the car to be an all-rounder. They want it to be able to, to go faster on a racetrack, but also to immediately be that car that you can drive from A to B um, without feeling like you're in a I don't know, in a wheelbarrow. Um, so I feel like they've done that really well. I'm actually driving in comfort mode right now and uh, I travel a lot. I've already got 4,000 Ks on my car and to be honest with you, I haven't had any problems with the comfort. Um, coming off a Audi SQ5, I really haven't noticed that it's so much more uncomfortable. So in that sense, I have done a great job with that. And now to the best part obviously it's the drive select so we're going to go from comfort obviously to, to dynamic and uh, as soon as I switch it across you can immediately hear the exhaust pipes opening up and the racer inside coming out. And you can just feel that now it's in race mode it wants to get out of its cage and um, this is where the car really starts to come alive. These bucket seats, Audi Sport seats, really hold you nicely in place so you can feel very well and supported inside the seat is really important for the driver. So I really like my first time was proper sports racing seats in, a, in my road car. So I'm really enjoying that. And then the downshift and you get that little growl. You downshift, it's just fantastic what Audi's done with the sound of this car. Here it's not the traditional V8 anymore, it's now the V6 turbocharged engine. It sounds completely different, but I like it. One thing I have to recommend to anybody that uh, likes to turn up the stereo when you're on a long road trip is you have to go for the Bang & Olufsen speakers. Um, I've pretty much ordered it on every one of my cars so far and with the new uh, RS5 and the 3D sound honestly you cannot match it it is incredible so uh, yeah I'm gonna leave you with a few shots turn up the sound turn up the music let's go I wanna love Alright, so there you have it. Um, if you want a car that is quick, looks good, burns a hell of a lot of fuel, then this is the car for you. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure filming. Uh, we really enjoyed it. I hope you guys at home also enjoyed it. And if you did, give us a like, give us a comment, 
and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming up in the next few weeks I'm off to Australia tomorrow so uh, it's gonna be some fun down under and I can't wait to give you the latest vlog from my trip down there see you there